I started this aquarium a little over a week ago and I'm currently dealing with a lot of either hair algae or thread algae um, and I always say it's very important to first find the source of the al algae before you start to uh, treat its symptoms and I looked into hair algae and it's very common during the startup phase of an aquarium so uh, the aquarium has not yet found its biological balance and it might probably be the case for you so uh, hair algae is something you might encounter or uh, a lot of people encounter however there's one major thing that um, causes hair, hair algae more than anything else and that's too much light and I've got two of these beautiful LED lamps uh, on here I actually did a full review on them so go watch that I'll link it in the description but uh, they don't have a dim function function I can't I can't dim the light um, and it's basically too bright I reduced the the amount of time that the lights are on every day so I started at 8 and right now I'm at 7 hours per day and the plants are growing fine but the hair algae is just pain in the neck and I've already tried removing it with a toothbrush but that's just treating the symptoms and you need to treat the cause so if you were to have proper lights you need to dim the lights because the lights just too bright however I can't which is why I continue to the next best thing and that's adding algae eaters I bought five um, auto sinkless algae eaters and you might wonder how is it possible that you're always telling and everyone on the internet is always telling you need to cycle your aquarium first before adding fish and usually the cycling period takes between six to eight weeks and you definitely do need to cycle your aquarium however I'm running uh, a canister filter and I'm running the exact same canister filter on my already cycled aquarium so I swapped some of the medium uh, of the filter media and now I've got cycled media in this aquarium that's ready to tackle all the ammonia that's produced by the algae eaters I'm about to add to my aquarium. It has been about four days since I added the five auto sinkless catfish to my aquarium but I'm still struggling with a major hair algae issue and I'm just sitting down today because it has been exactly two weeks since I started this aquarium so today's Friday and two weeks ago Friday I started this tank and the hair algae is just uh, the problem is just too big and um, today is the day that I'm going to give it its first major trimming um, but to do this I'm also going to have to get my sleeves wet to remove manually remove all the hair algae and I just have to actually face the issue because the lights are just too bright the hair algae just keeps growing and it's worse than yesterday and every morning I'm in there with my uh, with an old toothbrush to reduce as, uh, or remove as much as the algae as possible but now I have to face the problem head-on and uh, do some maintenance try and fix it so that's what we're going to do today so this is voiceover Bart and basically the first thing I did is I took my toothbrush and tried to remove as much of the hair algae as possible and it was quite challenging and soon I realized you couldn't see anything so I cleaned my glass I continued and then I try to remove some of the plants and look at these roots, how much they've grown in just two weeks. Then I continued, uh, I tried to remove a little bit more of the plants, uh, also to create space because they've grown quite a lot and then I could easily um, clean them for which I use my, use my toothbrush. And this is really the way that I try to tackle this problem and remove as much of the hair algae as possible um, was quite a tedious task but something that needed to be done and what was interesting was that the green hair algae that I was originally originally dealing with uh, slowly turned to brown hair algae and I also did a lot of research on how to deal with brown algae and I learned that brown algae is even more common in the startup phase of an aquarium and seems to 
be related to the silicates that are released from the soil or the substrate in my case just plain aquarium gravel and I continued um, a little while in the front with uh, removing hair algae and at some point I started working on the back of the aquarium and um, the algae was a little bit less intense here so all I did was just remove some of the plants uh, trim the uh, bottom of the plant and replant them uh, the way I would like and uh, this is just a little bit of an overview of how I, how I trim my plants but to relate back to the hair algae um, right now as I'm editing this um, I'm already a couple of yeah almost a week in the future again and the status of the aquarium right now is that it's still dealing with a hair algae problem uh, there's no green hair algae left it's all brown hair algae right now and um, I noticed that doing a water change helped uh, probably because it removed some of the nutrients so if you're dealing with hair algae make sure to um, don't let your nutrients so the fertilizer that you add accumulate over time and I'm just so so happy that the hair algae is very easy to remove from the aquarium with a toothbrush um, it just takes a couple of minutes every day I think five to ten minutes every day to keep the aquarium looking decent the plants are doing fine the fish are doing fine and uh, I hope that in a couple of more weeks the plants uh, have grown a lot more the aquarium has matured a lot more and found its biological balance and I don't have to deal with these algae anymore make sure to subscribe to my aquarium channel just before we hope to my final words um, I urge you to, to subscribe because I've got a lot of more content coming up and if you've got any tips for me do let them know down in the comments I'm always willing to learn now let's see what tired exhausted Bart has to say all right that has been over an hour of trimming and doing water changes and everything but I'm pretty pleased with the way the tank looks like the tank looks right now um, most hair algae is gone but I am still going to try and find a solution to either dim the light or whatever uh, luckily hair algae comes off pretty easily as long as you've got a toothbrush which is obviously very nice and uh, I'll be sure to keep you guys updated on the progress of this new tank cheers guys